Let's do it. You got the good old power shot. Man, that is a uh, card that I haven't seen at all. Probably because I haven't played Arena. It's going to be interesting seeing a lot of the new cards. Avern Berserker certainly looks like a fine Arena card, though. Too tentacly for me. Tracking. Ah, Crocolisk or Yorminger. Do we need Big Beast yet? We need early game. But for now, I think we take Big Beast. No, no, I'm going to pick uh, Crocolisk. Arena is kind of all about getting early game tempo. Early game first, then late game. I think that's the order it should generally be. Or then... Uh, Tundra kind of sucks, but it's a card. Unlike the other two cards. Middle Tooth Lever. Over the other card. I guess there are actually two other cards. I wasn't considering Wobbling Runs, but it's kind of close. Uh, Hunter. Good old Hunter. Twisted Worgen. That's not bad. This is a, a card that I actually expected to see in Constructed, but I guess there were too many ghouls and whirlwinds in Constructed. So Arcane Shot's uh, pretty good. Not great, but decent enough. Multi-shot, pew pew. A lot of spells that shoot people so far. Build a lock and load deck in Constructed. I mean in Arena. That can't possibly go wrong. Actually, it could go wrong. So therefore, Grand Crusader. Beast, Huffer, Fiery Bat, no, Bog Creeper, of course. Bog Creeper is the, uh, the hero of Arena. Haven't, uh, I saw a little bit of this in Druid, constructed, a tiny bit. Polluted Horror, The Trog, M. Gam Rager, Frostwolf Grunt, or Young Dragonhawk. Swallow sadly and take Frostwolf Grunt, really. It's cool how they made a complete joke card. The Amgam. Tontorino. Hey, Glavezuka is still occurring. Been a while since I've seen it. Been a while since I've been playing Arena, which means all these uh, wild cards are still here. Ogre. I do have the uh, mech synergy, but that's not nearly enough. Fairy Dragon. Corrupted Seer. Is actually decent in Arena. Believe it or not. Believe it. Alright, Corrupted Seer. That AoE, though. I think this is the card that looks really bad, but is actually decent. Or even good, arguably. Boulder Fist Ogre again. Boulder Fist Ogre again. Unless I want to diversify with a Captured Jormungar. Or a Tentacle. Looks like I've got enough threes. More Ogre. More Smash. Oh, hello Shredder, my old friend. Actually, I always hated this card. The Shredder. Seemed extremely unfair. Oh, these cards are lovely. Guess I'll pick the card that has stats. Really? Mmm. Dusk Boar, good boar. Murloc Raider may be better. It's a one drop. Actually, Murloc Raider, best card. Synergy. Synergy alert. Hmm, Power Shot. Power Shot, excellent card. Are you kidding me? Well, probably an owl. Unless I want good old Goldshire. Eh, owl. This is the sadness of Hunter Arena. Item Juggler is good. I haven't really been paying attention to the curve because there's always just two really bad cards and one other card. So I got Flare for draw a card, Crazed Alchemist, or Saboteur. Looks like Saboteur as the card with stats. And it's a three. Okay! Well, that's a deck. We've got a one drop. We've got two drops, one, two, three, four, five, six. And a Glaive Zuka, which counts as a two drop. Uh, that's a decent amount. On three, I've got a Huffer guy. Earthen Ring. Three mana, three, three. Three mana, four, three. Uh, four drop slots. I don't want to say decent, but it does have two Berserkers and a Shredder. Triple Ogre on six. Bog Creeper. Tundra Rhino on five. Not that many beasts in this deck. Got a Bloodfin Raptor, a Crocolisk, Animal Companion, which charges anyways. So basically, we've got uh, cards which have stats, and I chose the cards which had the best stats. Hunters have a tough time dealing small amounts of damage, but I have two power shot, and a multi shot, and an arcane shot, and a glaive zuka. I had a few card choices where I had to pick really bad cards against really bad cards, but there will always be some bad cards in Arena. I don't know how difficult Arena is also with Whispers of the Old Gods. I'm gonna guess five.
Let the hunt begin. After a little bit of a break from Arena and a lot of constructors, I've come to realize that an Arena is... It's really difficult to come back in Arena. So, you just control the board early, and then you don't really need that much of a late game. Well, that's... Well, that said, this dex or the late game is actually quite good. With Triple Ogre, and a Grand Crusader, and a Bog Creeper. Have to have some late game for those games that actually do go into the late game and matter. Oh, Glavezuka Valley. Yeah. Already ahead on tempo. Usually there's a slight problem playing a 2 3. Uh, you can run into the opponent's 2 3. But fortunately, I had Glavezuka, so I was always going to win that one. That's pretty good for him. Or at least I have a weapon ready to use. And that's a good card. Your little Shredder. If you've been watching the YouTube channel, you haven't seen Shredder played for forever, but an arena Shredder is still alive and well. Well, at least I have that going for me. It's uh, surprisingly good. And then, should I trade? I'm not really encouraged that much to trade, except it'll protect my 2 3. Which is a big deal, except if he. Nah, I should trade. Hmm. Alright. I'm getting to the late game of some semblance of control. This is not that easy to activate. Sometimes. Oh, he's got it. Cold blood. The ogre. I have to kill this. And I've got the uh, curved Tyrion, so it's not bad. Grand Crusader on 7, Tyrion on 8, good plan. Got burgled there. Solemn vigil. All right. Burgled, sniped, PM. Uh, I need my AOE card. Two five or three three? Looks like a two five is better against this board. He would want to trade the three two and the two one into the bear. That into that. Hope the bat hits either one of these two. It's rough. My uh, card quality is starting to not be anything. So I was tempted to even draw. Bit. Oh. Okay, I do have the power shot still. Oh, power shot is so good here. Oh, ho. oh that's also. Wow! Ho ho ho!
There are actually quite a lot of cards that would have looked really good there. Power Shot, Multi Shot, uh, Corrupted Seer. And also, he did place the stealth in the wrong spot. I think I power shot, multi shot here. Multi shot first. Uh, power shot will only deal one damage. Is that. Oh. I think I can power shot Bog Trooper. It's pretty good. Well, that went well. well played. Iron V Gal took out a 4 4. So that was pretty good. That was my other bad card I played this game. I didn't draw Murloc Raider or Frostless Grunt. So I missed the bad cards in the deck. I drew the good ones. Good stuff. Yeah, got a good 1-2-3 uh, curve. And the nice thing is I've got some bad cards in the deck, so tracking will thin them out. Well, that's the good cards in my deck. Oh well, that's a good card. Hopefully the flame juggler hits that thing. Bad flame juggler. Hmm. Yeah. assist. Can I light your fire? It's a power shot. Or if I was really ambitious, I could wait for Corrupted Seer. But I'm not that ambitious. Would be a casual 10 damage I would take. And I have to play a Tundra Rhino too. Play a bad card on curve. Guess I won't. This will this will encourage him to use the Nubian Prophet and a Fire Blast. Uh, it sets that to a four-one. Like Corrupted Seer here to rescue me again. Do go, Corrupted Seer. That's a fair card. Well, it's casual 8, 9, and stats for 6. It's pretty good. I'm sad. I guess in theory though, the uh, ogre trades with both of those. Not that that'll ever happen. Mage, I guess. Trade in a fashion which a beast. Which leaves them at both not one health. I would go face, but seem to not have enough damage to go face. Mage is bullying me with a higher quality of cards than I. And kill the 4 5 rather than the 4 4. And this is pointless, it just dies, so I have to play one of these. I guess I'll play Ogre. I'll take the 4. Hero power seem weak. Why? What happened to Steady Shot? Why no do full damage? What? Ah. I actually have no uh, hard removal in this deck, so I guess I lose. I think I can do Ogre plus two. Him hitting the face was actually pretty good for me. I mean, relative to all the terrible, terrible things that could have happened. Alright, I guess Ragnaros is fine. It's kind of scary. 
Oh, that was a very scary deck. I have an Earthen Ring Farseer in here. It's still good. It's still good. Draw the Earthen Ring Farseer. And then win. Hmm. That's pretty much the plan. Yeah, meh. Huh. I failed part one of the plan. Oh, this thing out of the shredder. I still remember these times. That was uh, almost stabilized. I mean, other than the fact he had three spells. Almost? I guess you can stick around, Grant, since you are a two drop. I think I'll go coin out the Grunt, perhaps? Hmm. What do you want? So the hope with the Grunt is that it trades into a 3-2. If he plays a 2-3. Okay, well that's good. Grunt accomplished his task, even though if I had played the Trog instead, there wouldn't be a trade. But I managed to get some value out of this bad card. I'll take it. I'll play the slow card first, since uh, this card is too fast for him. Shall we put a in so there's two theories between playing the 2-3 first and the 2-2 first. The 2-3 is better against the 2-2, but that's kind of rare. 2-2 uh, is better against the 3-2, since you use a 2-2 instead of a 2-3. Basically, my philosophy there is to play worst card first. Hmm. Yeah, you can buy a Murloc Raider and Blackwater Pirate. That's a win. That's a good tracking result. They toss two bad cards. Yeah, that curve actually looks pretty good here. I think from here on out I just hit face a lot. Play big guy, hit face, have him deal with big guy. That's the pattern. And sometimes he'll cheat, but that's okay. I can cheat too. World growth on 8 mana. Trying to get to that 10. Interesting. Let's see, play Ogre or play 4 plus 2? Ogre, I guess. Should have been brave and traded first. Maybe. Looks like some cheating just occurred here. Uh, do I want five fours or three fives? I think I want five fours. Sets up lethal. I can see. With any two attacks. Hmm. Let's go hunt. Begin. Bring it on. Hmm. All right. 
And it's two premium hunter cards. Ideally, I get a two drop minion, which the tracking will try to search for. If I naturally draw two, I go for one of the fours. Maybe Shredder. That's pretty good. Murloc Raider tossed. Although I would have played Murloc Raider on turn one pretty happily. Come on, juggle. Yeah. Well, this Glaive Zooka is going to be really big, but perhaps I should play on Curve and go Animal Companion instead. Glaive Zooka clears the board, but how important is that? Good Glaive Zooka and Arcane Shot, not take any damage on my guy, but it's really good for my guy to kill someone with only 3 health, uh, since the Hunters can't do 1 health easily. I'd probably play Glaive Zooka even though it's off Curve. I saved the Arcane Shot. Sorry, uh, Animal Companion. It's really rare that I would play a card over a premium 3-drop on turn 3. A card that doesn't take 3 mana. And I almost was tempted to use all the mana, but that's a good use. Guess that's how good Glavzuka is worth. It would have made me feel better if Glavzuka cost 3 mana. But that's silly. So very silly. Hogmaster, Mech Warper, Micro Machine. Is this some kind of mech theme? Probably not. Alright, so I want to use this to clear off a guy. And I think I don't want to... Okay, I do have a beast, so this one should be protected. And should be this one's health I use. Now Huffer not best. Misha best. Go go Misha. What is this? Nonsense. Disgusting! Two Huffers, but never a Huffer still. No, well, kind of. Not really. It's okay. Ogre fix problem. Impressive. Unfortunately, Corrupted Seer only does two, and not three. We need no. We need more problem solvers around here. More guys like Boulder Fist Ogre. Smart Ogres. Eleven damage. Play a lot. More Hunter. V. Hunter. Wow, we're a locker raider. It's what I always wanted. That's a curve. Sure. Alright. I was about to say Glaive Zuka has been carrying me through the games I've won, uh, and it'll be this will be the game where I don't have Glaive Zuka, but there's the Glaive Zuka. I can actually have some synergy with Blackwater Pirate now. So the order is pretty important here. 
I need to play Glaive Zuka to have one of these kill that. But even better is if I play Flame Juggler and then the random damage hits and then I send the 2 1. Or rather, then I can just use Glaive Zuka instead of a guy. Best is Glaive Zuka first so I don't hit the Flame Juggler with it and then play the Flame Juggler and hope to hit the uh, thing with it. And if I miss, I send the Murloc Raider, but if I hit, I can save the Murloc Raider. Uh oh. Fell behind in tempo. It's time for a lot of blood. What are you gonna do, Hunter? Probably just lose. But not always, I guess. I probably should have cleared the other beast too. Nah. Yeah, I should have. It's only two damage. I killed the one to prevent him from dealing two damage to my polluted hoarder. Eh, it's debatable. Hitting face when he's a slow can't be that bad either though. The beast energy isn't that common in arena. Alright, let's eliminate this cheating, I guess. I was very tempted to play Ogre, but I suppose we need to get this done. That must have so many arena points. It's okay. Good old reliable ogre is still good enough though. No need for fancy call. Just ogre power will do it. That's an interesting attack. Huh. Why do it that way? Can't really claim to know the answer. Right back at you? Setting up for explosive trap? I mean, that's what makes sense. Maybe I'm getting bamboozled here. Oh well. The, uh, Leox damage wouldn't matter. But if it's tougher, I would get punished by playing it first. Here we go. Summon tougher. Smart. Ho ho ho. Rogue. Rogue easy. Just smash. Rogue hits self with weapon. How dumb. The pleasure is mine. Rogue dumb. Greetings, traveler. Show him that you don't care. Early on. Huh. Animal Companion getting Leoc lets me do that trade. The Huffer. Face, face? Hit that one, face? That lets him clear. Wouldn't he have done this anyways? Not always. He wants to do that. Okay. Half measure. 
Alfred knows what to do. Good old Shredder v Shredder. Something that I just feel the need to mention, because I don't play Wild much, and I haven't played Arena much. This is a common situation which happens in those, I suppose. But at least it's still novel here. Time to hit him very hard. Smart. No? Wow. Oh, the synergy. Alright, after analyzing the position carefully, I have determined that Gorg faces the answer. No, but really, he's gonna use these two to clear two of my guys, so it wouldn't matter if I cleared ahead of time. Three health is really annoying. And they have a lot of ways to do two damage. I guess I just go face. Impossible. He cleared. Wow. Whoa, face. Okay. So he's got 14 next turn. You think I'm afraid of you? Man. If I had... No, kill command wouldn't do it. Uh, am I afraid? He needs one damage to win. Otherwise, I have to trade into this. 4-7... Uh, would do that one. What happens after I trade? I guess I just lose. some weak sauce hand right here. Oh, that's synergy. I might be able to bring this out to a control game. Maybe. All I have to do is, uh, last those six cards. Mm, it's pretty tough. I would have lost the one damage here. That's the mean he held that in his hand. Anyways, it looks like I lose anyways. I have one more turn then. Not that there's anything that can save me. This card too big. Oh wait, that card is still too big. Okay, well played. Maybe I should have traded into that squid face instead of going face. Deadly poison did me did me in, but I didn't know. I didn't feel like he had that much HP. Oh, uh, lead off of top quality cards this time. This hand promises success. These these early game cards promise success. Wow. Freebie card. Gimme, gimme. That's good. No huffer, no huffer! No huffer! Yeah. The no huffer chant worked. Can either trade, trade, or only trade. If I do only that, then this can do this. This and this just does that. I think I do just this. That makes it seem tougher for him to deal with. Good placement versus power shot.
Mm, if it wasn't that one. The power shot would have been pretty good. Although I'm not sure I would have used power shot. Seems like I can always just play that. Tempo, go. I have a lot of anti small things right now. That's okay, these two cards I don't need to win. Let's play big guy. Hit face. Smart. This plan is going to work splendidly. I predict. I wonder if there was a time that I would have traded these two into that. I mean. You could justify it. I'm using a 5-2 and a 2-2 against a 6-7. How does it trade up? I miss all the damage. Thankfully, I'm more reasonable in going for face now. Being a hunter helps, though. Mm, it's a curve. Go! Wow. That will disappoint Valera. Perhaps. He's like, ah, I'll just take a casual 9 damage. But now there's a cheater in the way. There is cheat. Fun fact. Smart. Get him. Yeah. Mm. This game is easy. I never realized how easy Arena was before. Until after I played a lot of Constructed. Wow. Get him. It has its own skill set, but I think playing Constructed has made me realize a deeper insight into Arena. And the only reason why it's easy is because the opponent didn't play anything on turn 1, 2, or 3. Well, it looks like I set up for 2 turn lethal then. Poke, poke, poke. Yeah. That was easy. I think it's playing a lot of zoo that has helped me realize the finer subtleties of Arena. The concept of gaining the board early. Has finally been ingrained into me enough. Whereas before in Constructed I might have been playing a lot of control decks. Which got me more optimistic about late game. But now I see Murloc Raider on turn one and I'm like, what a lovely card. Get him. Oh. Oh my gosh, so much cheating. Did I lose yet? I might have lost. Hmm. That sucks. Should I coin this out? This guy just dies to the 3-3. Three, three. So I guess I do. In the next turn, I either draw a 4, or I play Tracking Saboteur. This 
Paladin must be cheating. All of his cards are good. Well, the Saboteur at least trades up here. And I can dig for a relevantly big card. Hmm. Ogre or Shredder? That's a tough question. I have enough late game, I think. I go, uh, Shredder. Shall we put a king in their plans? Handle it! Gah! Oh, I got crushed. Not on my wow! That was bad enough, but... Well, actually, that's... That starts to be bad enough to make it not so bad because now my catch-up cards are catching up. Ooh, do I make a Trixie play and power shop the uh, this one to set up for Seer next turn? I can even play the Flame Juggler also. Flame Juggler is uh, if I that's fine. All right. There's no immediate need to kill off that 2-2. Two -two. It's not that big a threat. And I keep playing cards that don't have 2, so I can save the Seer. If he just hits me in the face, I get him big time for the Corrupted Seer, since all my guys have 3 health. He has no easy way of using the Raid Leader effectively, so... That should just stick around. No rush to kill it. Okay, I'm gonna keep holding off on this AoE. Nice. Nice, too. Someday he'll have a bunch of stuff out. We're dealing too damage to it, all will be good. Someday. I think that day is gonna be today. Because that 4 5 goes into the 3 4, and then it'll be a 4 2. held anything for anti-AOE. Mm, who knows? Is that one card? Unfortunately I drew a really bad card. Well, that being Al. Not the other one. The other one's fine. Eh. Uh, I guess it was a miracle that I came back that much after that ter terrible start. Eh, uh, I'll keep fighting, I guess. Fight. Drew Nerubian Prophet. Reporting for duty. It's all over. Uh, there's no card I can draw, I think. I'm curious on what card he held, but oh well. Some kind of answer. Oh, I guess Grand Crusader could have done it. Yeah, I'll take six and three for this deck. That's better than my prediction. Kind of got a freebie against that rogue. Kill the rogue? Yep. Oh. Oh. I was like, whoa, that's a weird card back. But that's... That's tentacles. 
There's still actually quite a few cards from Whispers of the Old Gods that I don't have yet. So... That didn't help. 